Hi, Mayor Ezra here with the piece of truth for you. So I'm sure you've seen people that um, have a relationship, they get married and then they get divorced and they get married to another lady and that lady is not necessarily better than the first one, um, even worse. And now they will uh, either get divorced again or they will stay with that lady and suffer quietly. And by the way, it happens to men and women. It does not really make a difference if you are the man in that side or the woman. And the question is, why? Why you don't actually go back to the first lady? She's better. She's not as bad as the second lady. Why you not go, would not go back? Or you change a supplier and the first supplier was much better than the second one, but you will not go back to the first supplier. Why is it that you make mistakes, you do the, you do the wrong choices, you, you, you choose something incorrectly, uh, probably unintentionally incorrectly, and then you cannot just go back and correct it? The answer is very amazing. The answer is so amazing that uh, once you realize that it is, uh, if you will realize that it is, it will be the first step in recovering your own nature, natural ability, your own native abilities, which are to bring something out of nothing, which means to do anything without any energy, without anything, just to bring something, anything by decision alone. That's your native abilities. So, and you, you will lose your native abilities because of this reason I'm going to talk to you about. Okay, so there's one thing that's worse than dying for men and that thing is to say that you are wrong. You will see that you never, ever, ever, ever say that you are wrong. What you do say is I'm wrong because or I'm wrong but, which means I'm not wrong. You see, so you have an accident and you say I had the accident because I didn't see that car. No, no, no. You had the accident because you are wrong, but you cannot be wrong. And so you have an excuse. You have this terrible disease that called excuse lerosis. Excuse lerosis is a disease that allow you to take any wrongness and make it into rightness. To take any kind of sin that you commit and make it into not a sin. To take any lie that you lie and to paint it with white, to make it into a white lie. It is the reason why people can do terrible things and still live with themselves. Because they cannot be wrong and because a person cannot be wrong, he will invent the most amazing excuse to explain how, is, how he is not wrong. And the problem is that in order to succeed in life, you have to be able to be right or wrong with the same level of enthusiasm. You have to be able to realize that you are actually never right, nor wrong. You're just creating. And if you will actually realize that you're just creating, then nothing will actually affect you, but you will cause things. And when you will want any kind of sensation, you will become what I call a causative effect. So what's the problem that you need to handle? The problem that you need to handle is you have to be able to be wrong and to be enthusiastic about it as much as when you are right. Because otherwise, instead of living, you will try to be wrong. You, you will try to be right. Instead of succeeding, you will try to be right. Instead of going forward, you will try to be right. You'll see that the person that's really successful in something, let's say he's a good dancer and he makes a mistake, it's not an issue, he continues. But a person that's not so good try to be right and when he makes an, a mistake, he stop. You'll see that a businessman that is really good at what he's doing, if he lose money, it's not a problem, he just makes more. 
But a person that is not such a good businessman, when he makes a mistake, when he loses money, everything stops. He goes bankrupt. So what do you need to do? You need to be able to be right and wrong with the same level of enthusiasm. And how you do it, how do you actually recover that ability? You start to see the viewpoint of other people. The more viewpoints you will be able to see, the more you will be able to be right and wrong. And the magic is that when you don't have to be right or wrong, you can create. You can bring something out of nothing for no reason at all. May Ezra, a piece of truth for you.